Okay, thank you for this opportunity. Um, we are going to be talking about the Sustainable Development Goals uh, at the beginning of the 2015 uh, intergovernmental negotiations. Um, up until this point, I think it is absolutely clear that um, the focus uh, of the process has been universal, um, trying to get an agenda that means something to everybody in all country contexts, whether in middle-income countries, low-income countries, or high-income countries. And then the focus uh, on um, addressing squarely issues of inequalities uh, that really threaten um, the vision uh, of a, a better world, uh, a world we want for everybody, including children, by 2030. Um, so within that context, we have a lot to celebrate uh, in the Open Working Group's report. Uh, the 17 goals address uh, the three dimensions of sustainable development, the economic, the social, and environmental sustainability, with a very clear focus on children, women, uh, and future generations and young people. Uh, and so there is a lot to celebrate in there. The goals are all encompassing. Um, but as we move forward, we need to make sure that we preserve this focus on children and future generations. Uh, we need to make sure that the level of ambition uh, is maintained. Um, and also, um, particularly uh, in terms of the child rights obligations of states that we already have. Uh, agreed in previous conventions. Um, moving forward, we want to retain a very clear focus first and foremost on the challenge of um, eliminating and eradicating poverty uh, through very specific uh, actions in the social sector as well as in the environmental and economic sector. Um, Secondly, we want to um, focus on the multidimensional aspects of poverty, not just the fact that um, poverty is being measured in terms of um, uh, monetary uh, income, um, for example, a dollar twenty-five um, per day as the cutoff point, but also access to basic social services, um, access to peace and security. Uh, and other forms uh, of uh, safety that children need to experience to have a, a joyful and productive uh, childhood. Um, so that multidimensionality is critical when we talk about eradicating poverty. We can come back to that detail. The second is um, eliminating violence against children and women. Fighting violence, making sure that women and children um, have um, a, a peaceful um, uh, society to live in, uh, that they have um, a household and domestic environment in which um, childhood thrives, uh, and that the abuse, neglect, um, and uh, exploitation that we have seen in the past becomes a things, uh, something that everybody is aware of and is working uh, directly to eliminate um, those, um, uh, those situations, as well as in the broader context of safety, peace, and security within communities um, and in society as a whole. Um, and here you have a policy dimension, rule of law, access to justice, uh, and so on, but also the uh, critical importance of addressing the armed conflicts around the world, which really uh, magnify uh, the vulnerabilities of children um, and expose large segments of people to, um, to high risk of death, injury, and so on. And thirdly, uh, we want to retain a sharp focus on equity. Um, this vision we have, as I was saying, of uh, the world we want in 2030 is threatened directly by issues of inequality. Um, the um, expanding gap between um, the bottom and the top quintiles of society, um, 
the inequalities are playing out real time in people's lives um, in a world that has the ability to address um, the, um, the mortality issues facing children, uh, but it's doing it successfully in some countries, but not in all, and this is an indictment. We know how to save the lives of children from communicable diseases, um, uh, diarrhea, malaria, HIV, etc. We're doing it successfully in parts of the world, but not everywhere. And that's why it is important to address the issue of equity. Okay, so as we move into the discussion of the gaps and the pitfalls uh, in the in the agenda so far, particularly with respect to children, one of the critical aspects uh, I was referring to was with respect to equity and the fact that inequalities um, and expanding, widening gaps actually pose a direct threat to the vision that we have for 2030. And this is not just in terms of the progress that one needs to make towards the goals that are being discussed for the sustainable development of the world and, and people. It's also in terms of tracking, monitoring, and making sure that the gap between the richest and the poorest in terms of access, in terms of safety, in terms of the use of available resources um, for children um, to achieve the highest attainable educational standards, etc., is being monitored so that whilst at the same time we are tracking progress against these goals, we also need to deploy the necessary technical capacity and resources to monitor the gaps, whether those gaps are remaining the same, are widening, getting worse, or if they're narrowing. We believe that um, success with the SDGs can only be achieved if these goals are achieved for everybody, and particularly for the most disadvantaged and the most vulnerable first. So there is some sort of um, a requirement to refocus development attention on the poorest and the most disadvantaged segments of society.